All right, what's going on everybody? So we finally got our tires in. I know it's been a little while since y'all have gotten a new video. Don't roll away, stop it, stop it. All right, we're still on jack stands. Let's turn this bitch on. Roll these inside, and we'll check out what's in that box, too, because it's got to go with these. They're so skinny. I never thought that getting 245s, I would say that they're skinny, but they're skinny. So, let's check out what's in this box. And, uh, welcome back to new parts. Yay! pretty white box that showed up while I was at work and got left in my hallway, which was awesome. So I definitely had to come home early to make sure that it didn't get stolen. Not that I live in, you know, a sketchy neighborhood or anything, but still. When you buy car parts, you don't want them left outside. And apparently that really, really lid. Okay. Ooh. Alright, first, let's see what's in here. Pretty sure. Yep. I got a new license plate frame, which will fade because, you know, it's Texas. I think this is another one. It looks like it's another license plate frame. Cool. Even though I only have one license plate. <gasps> Shiny. Anyway. Um, so, new barrels. I apparently suck at unboxing things. Let's see how little these are. All right, y'all. So we're going from, they're so lightweight, I love them. Okay, so we're going from these, which is a six inch outer barrel, currently makes it an 11 and a half inch front wheel running a, it's upside down, but a 285 30 20. Now with these, and with these sexy, sexy fenders, which were, look, things are coming off. Um, so with those fenders and with these new four inch barrels, it'll put me down at a nine and a half, which means I had to get skinny tires. And by skinny, I got a 245, 3520. Now I did get the Nitto NT triple five G2s. They were shit for my rear tires. So my rear tires, I'm sticking with the Pirelli's that I have on now. Um, I did have the uh, Nitto's on the rear. Uh, they lasted like a month. So, we're going to stick them on the front because at least they lasted decently on the front. Just can't run them on the back. Too much camber. But, yeah. So, we're going to get the rest of, hopefully, this other fender off today. Um, we, we have come to find that. Look at that. You see that? Look. That. It's twisted. So, whoever in the world worked on my car previously for our lovely, lovely SEMA Crunch in 2018 got twisted. Twisted that. I don't know why they would have. I don't know why they would have attempted to take my fender off, but they did. Not gonna name names because I don't know who it is. But it's nice and twisted. We're gonna slap some WD 40 on it. Hopefully, that'll loosen up that brat, uh, bolt and I can get that undone. And then this behemoth of a front grill, it got cut right here so that I could fit these giant freaking things. So it's cut. So I had to order a new. Uh, bumper. So I ordered that yesterday. That was loads of fun clicking that big blue button that says pay here. So yay, got paid. Yay, no paycheck. Welcome to car life. But yeah, so new barrels, new tires, fenders are coming off and new bumpers should be here. It said three to seven business days for shipping. So we'll see if that actually happens. Um, but the crunch has begun. We're I'm still shooting for Spocom, so we'll see how that goes. I'm still shooting for Spocom August, uh, not August, really, that was last month, October 5th, um, so hopefully that's at Dallas Market, well, it will be at Dallas Market Hall, Market Hall. hopefully the car will actually be done by then, that's, that's the goal, um, 
So next weekend, we're going to go be visiting Joe Tech with Kevin. He's going to take my these old tires off. We're going to take the barrels off because they are legit, true and legit three-piece wheels. We're going to take the front barrels off. We're going to put the new barrels on, put the new rubber on, and then we might get some wrapping done. It has been ridiculously hot. This is Texas, and, and we like to live on Hell's Front Porch. I know I've said that before. So, uh, the goal is to get the fender off today, and then next weekend we'll do wheels and tires, and probably start wrapping a lot of this. We're uh, gonna do, at least I'm gonna try and get the mirrors done, and we're gonna get the trunk hopefully wrapped, and I haven't decided if I should wrap my roof. Tell me, y'all tell me, y'all pick. Should I wrap my roof and my hood? So currently, my stock color is, I don't know if y'all can see this. Okay, there's my arm. That's my stock color, the magnetic gray. So, should I leave my roof stock, like gray? So should I just wrap like the sides red and leave the hood, roof, and trunk gray? Or should I just leave the roof gray, wrap everything red? Y'all decide. Comment below, let me know what y'all decide. Option one, literally just the sides are gonna be red, hood, roof, trunk, gray. Or we can do all of it red, leave the hood gray. Or the hood, the roof gray. Y'all pick, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Just a quick little update, I know it's been a couple weeks, um, but it's surprisingly not that hot out today, or at least yet, cross our fingers. Uh, so yeah, comment below, let me know what color options you think we should go with and stay tuned for our next visit to Joe Tech. All right, see y'all later.